got him in his sideline position. And I'm not going to go through all the adjustments with the pillow. But to bring him out, it's basically the opposite okay, of how we brought him in. We'll bring the arm back across. We can do spinal twist again here. And then I'll pick up the leg. Bring the leg back across. Okay, very easy. Step back across. And he's good to go. Okay. Sometimes if you've been in sideline a long time, you'll come out and they'll be in this like sideways banana shape, you know, <laughs> from laying in that position for a long time. So sometimes I'll come in and do a little, with both legs, a little bit of the swinging. And you even have that option while you're swinging to do a little <laughs> with the hips, right? So I can move his hips right, a little bit side to side, just with a little momentum here. Relocating. To, right, if I need to relocate. Yeah. I did that to a couple of people okay. and they said I put their hip back in. Their hip popped out. And where the hip was. <laughs> okay. Just okay. So to get them on their stomach, there are ways to get them on their stomach, but it's a little more complicated, so we will generally just say, please turn over. Flip over. Okay, <laughs> so please turn over on your belly. Okay. So prone position, really, really... Wonderful position. Okay. So we're going to start with another one of the uh, movement techniques. Where we're going to use that same acronym, the DITS. Okay. So this is the master release, and this is a shaking technique. And I'm going to be using my foot. So again, I'm going for a contour between that arch of my foot and right at the top of Van's sacrum. There's like a nice round shape here as well. Okay. So that's where we're going to match up arch of my foot. So we have a round contour, a round contour is my foot closer to his head. I've got equal foot on both sides of his spine. So I'm going to be able to put equal pressure here as here. Okay. Use a rock. <laughs> this is have to be feel great. Yeah, this is an awesome technique. Really feels great. So all I'm doing is rocking. So there's two ways for me to do this. Okay, right now I'm doing it from the leg. Okay, you notice I'm very steady here. I'm very steady here, just like I would be if I was doing a yoga pose, balancing on one leg. And you can see how I'm doing it all right, with the muscles of the leg. Okay, here I can vary the intensity. I can vary the tempo. Okay, all those same kinds of things. I can also vary the texture a little by coming in as an alternate from my pelvis. Okay, so you need to bend the knee a little bit. Get a little bit of that Elvis uh, action going here, right? Which is a little bit difficult when you're balancing on one foot, okay? <laughs> good but, stomach exercise. Right. Yeah, it is good exercise, this one, especially if you have someone who's heavy. It's a good workout. And then we're going for a little duration here, okay? So this shaking really gives his conscious mind the opportunity to just say, all right, goodbye, I can't, you know, I can't resist this. <laughs> I can't resist this, let's just go, let's just let go, okay? So, really wonderful. One of my friends actually has a thing they call the chi machine, you know, that she bought mm -hmm. off of late night TV, which if, if you do it the other way, you lay on your back and you put your feet in and then it spins your yeah. legs side to side. And it's really neat because when you experience this shaking for a long time and then the machine stops, it's just like some of those uh, chakra releases we've done. You get this like, it's like a rush of energy through the whole body. So, in this technique, that still point's very important. So I come back to center. I'm still resting my foot lightly, but he's still jiggling on the inside, even though I've stopped moving. So I'm just giving his nervous system a moment to come back into stillness. And then I'll switch legs. Okay, so I'm gently stepping down and switching legs. So arch compressions. Okay, this is the same thing we've been doing throughout the whole class with our hands. Now we're working with another tool. Okay, is it possible to do these arch compressions on the arms and some of the other places in the body for people who need more weight? Sure. Okay, we're just going to be working on the arch, with the arches on the legs and feet here today. Okay, same thing. I'm creating a nice contour. So I've got equal part of my foot on both sides of his leg. I'm just rocking in. Okay, and rocking out. Again, you see it coming from my belly. Rocking in and rocking out. Rocking in and rocking out. Okay. 
going to read an essay in a few minutes called Never Fall, Always <laughs> Sink. Okay, very important here especially. And I'm coming down close to the knee but not standing on the back of the knee. If I fall or just jump right onto Van without coming in sensitively with this kind of weight, he's not going to appreciate that. If I sink in slowly, you see he can take quite a lot of weight. Okay, and what I'm simulating here is this is a stair step, and I'm going to walk up the stairs, okay? So I can actually stand right on him. We're not going to do that as part of the technique, but that's the kind of thing that you're simulating there. It's just you're going to walk right up a stair, right? So I'm almost getting onto that stair, and then I'm coming back. I'm almost getting onto that stair, and then I'm coming back, okay? So same kind of three passes or more. Okay. When I get down to the knee, I'm just acknowledging the knee. Okay. Very dangerous to stand or put a lot of pressure on the back of the knee joint here. But I can touch it. And that, again, is going to help complete that energy line as I come down. And then I'm going to switch feet so that I can be down here. Again, I want to frame out my work area. right? So if I stay way up here and I try to step, you see how I start to lose my balance because right? I'm too far away. So if I come down here where his leg is more directly in front of me, and have the easier balance. And we're always going for those contours. So again, there's a nicer contour if I'm here than if I'm here with that blade of my foot right on his calf. So switching. I'm sorry. It's me. Okay.